to space travel Elon Musk has dipped in his hands in some of the most exciting industries and now he is ready to take on a new challenge dominating the phone industry. Tesla is preparing to release its own take on the modern smartphone and people are already clamoring to get their hands on it but what is the python all about can it tackle. The giants like Samsung and Apple let's find out stepping into the phone industry with Elon Musk at the helm. Tesla has had success releasing interesting and unexpected products in the market and the Tesla Python isn't going to be any different as always Musk's business strategy is to combine business acumen uniqueness and innovation to create a standout product that will fulfill a market hole nobody's paying attention to. The development of the new smartphone will leverage Tesla's expertise in technology SpaceX's satellite system and even Neuralink technology. That is still in development to give you a smartphone. That is more capable than anything on the market. Tesla is still keeping news about its phone under lock and key, but we were able to get some key details. The dimension of the Python will be 156.8 by 72.1 by 7.6, and it is expected to weigh around 202 grams. The 6.7 inch panels of the phone were made using an OLED panel with a 1284 by 2778 pixel screen resolution. It will also have a 458 ppi pixel density and a 120 Hz refresh rate for the exterior design. The Python will come with an oleophobic coating and a scratch resistant glass is added for protection at the back of the phone. The iconic T logo for Tesla is evident and all three of the triple back cameras have a resolution of 50 MP each. The rear cameras also include features like dual LED dual tone flash dual pixel DAF ProRes HDR in cinematic mode. There will also be a single camera in front with up to 40 MP Musk's Python supports, GPS, and Bluetooth version 5.2 and will come with 5G internet service. Seeing new phones with 5G isn't exactly shocking, but what makes it a standout feature in the PI phone is the use of SpaceX's. Starlink, system unlike other services that make use of Earth-based telecommunications. Tesla phone will have built-in functionality to surf the web easily and enjoy high-speed low-latency broadband internet in several markets by using low-orbiting Sterling satellites. The phone enables seamless video calling online gaming and streaming, it will also have standard components like 512GB to 1TB of storage. Space 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM and an AMOLED display as one would expect the PI phone is expected to integrate with. Tesla's EVS it will allow users to perform different functions all from their phone. Tesla already has an app for iPhone and Android users that allows them to control their vehicles with the app they can lock and unlock their cars. I think we're gonna have an incredible cyber truck product for you next year. It's gonna blow your mind. The battery is like the beating heart of an EV. It accounts for approximately 30 to 40% of the cost of an electric vehicle as well as the brainchild of Elon Musk cyber truck will be a pickup truck that crushes other EVS in its class with its particularly terrifying battery pack. What's so special about Cybertruck's battery? Where was this battery pack made and moreover, what are the signs that Cybertruck will go into production in 2023? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel we begin let's get started with today's content in Tesla's third quarter of 2022 earnings call Elon noted that the semi does not use the 4680 cells right now and the Cybertruck will be given priority to use this cell we see the Model Y is equipped with a 75 kilowatt hour battery the 4680 cell pack. The Model Y needs 830 cells so the Cybertruck's 200 kilowatt hour battery pack will need to use three battery packs which means two 490 cells to deliver 1 million Cybertrucks in advance two and a half billion 4680 cells are required but fret not because this is well within Tesla's ability so. Of uh, 4,680 we are making a decent number every week Tesla executives noted that the battery ramp is actually going well the total of the 4,680 cells produced tripled in the third quarter, the focus now is cost and 
Further expanding production in North America it's looking good Musk said so where will this battery pack be manufactured Tesla ultimately planned to build the Cybertruck in Austin at Gigafactory Texas however, the battery cells and cell pack manufacturing are not yet ready to take off at Giga Texas. Tesla applied to build a battery and cathode manufacturing building at Giga Texas earlier this year and while the project has been started it will likely not be ready for the Cybersharks. Projected launch in mid-2023 with an extensive order log that features over 3 million total reservations, Tesla is preparing for Cybertruck manufacturing by building the battery packs at a plant that is already off-operational, the Fremont facility, the only Tesla plants manufacturing all four vehicles that the company builds Cybertruck battery pack lines are being installed on. The second floor of the Fremont factory with Tesla nearing potential testing phases shortly utilizing 4,680 cells. From Cato Road and from suppliers like Panasonic as Cybertruck manufacturing ramps up into late 2023 to 2024 and beyond packs will be at Giga. Texas, which would likely support Cybertruck production entirely so how powerful is this battery pack on Cybertruck? The Cybertruck's silent roar and postmodern design can be deceiving. In that it doesn't give off an impression of power nevertheless, this truck packs enough power to move at a top speed that rivals a modern Lamborghini. The single-motor Cybertruck is a rear-wheel drive option with a top speed of 110 miles per hour and respectable 0 to 60 acceleration of 6 and a half seconds it has a 100 kilowatt hour battery capacity good for 250 or more miles of continuous driving fast charge time at a 250 watt supercharged station for the single-motor Cybertruck takes approximately 22 minutes, that's how long it'll take to charge from 10 to 80% however the charge speed plummets as it nears 100%. But, it's better than charging to full capacity at home, since it takes 10 hours and 45 minutes to do so the all-wheel. Drive dual-motor Cybertruck has a motor for the rear wheels. And one for the front wheels it has a governed max speed. Of 120 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour more than the single motor version, and can whip up to 60 miles per hour in four and a half seconds. The two motor design can upgrade the battery pack to 120 kilowatt hours, giving you over 300 miles of range on a single charge. Fast charge time at a 250 watt station is modestly more time consuming than the a single. Motor version at 27 minutes and that's judging a 10 to 80% charge it. Takes roughly 13 hours to charge with an 11 kilowatt at home wall connector. The triple motor cyber truck supplies two rear motors and one front motor for top speeds of 130 miles per hour and an insane 0 to 60 of only 2.9 seconds. Searching for potential life outside our planet has been one objective that scientists and astronomers have never retired from they believe that humans are not that the only living species in our universe which is why they explore the solar system for any potential signs of life out in space this quest for alien life has led to the discovery of several exoplanets that efficiently by NASA's James Webb Telescope and other incredible technologies these planets have been explored and one seems to show signs of life existing in them what discovery did the JWST find on the planet and what does this mean for the future of space exploration join us as we explore the James Webb telescopes terrifying city of light discovery on Proxima b the discovery of exoplanets has been quite intriguing over the past few decades their discoveries attributes and possible phenomena surrounding their existence keeps scientists and Astronomers fascinated by them since the discovery of the first exoplanet. Orbiting a star like our Sun in 1995 studying exoplanets has been one of the most talked about topics in astronomy as of November 1, 2022, 5246 exoplanets have been confirmed in. 3,875 planetary systems Sometimes these planetary systems are found to have more than one planet Some of these planets are massive like Jupiter, but they orbit differently and closer to their host star than Mercury does to our Sun Some planets orbit two stars and some might even have suitable conditions for life. 
To thrive on their surfaces or for life to thrive within them scientists have been observing these multiple exoplanets and planetary systems that have been found from the smallest exoplanets to the largest there are even some that seem like our planet Earth while some are just awfully bizarre one such. Exoplanet is Proxima b. The discovery of these planets and their planetary systems has helped scientists know more about their forms and compositions. The European Southern Observatory La Sierra Chile known as our Sun's nearest stellar neighbor Proxima Centauri is located 4.25 light-years away, which also makes Proxima b and the nickname of being Earth's cousin it wasn't given this name because of its closeness but because of its features similar to our planet Proxima Centauri b has a mass of 1.17 Earth masses and it Orbits its star in only 11.2 days compared to our Earth's one-year-long orbit around our Sun it also receives about the same amount of solar energy from its star but hearth receives from. Our Sun Approxima b was named based on the ground rules stated in the planet dot naming convention the planet naming convention is used by planet finding astronomers to name a new planet after its star this new planet is then named followed by lowercase letters starting with AB for the first planet discovered C for the next one found and so on as long as more planets are discovered within the star the letter A is reserved. The parent star itself although, the convention can be confusing at times because the arrangement of letters reflect how the planets are discovered and not their distance from the parent. Star this same planet has been predicted by astronomers to have an alien life form and this theory would be confirmed by using the James Webb Telescope for any signs of light in a study conducted by a team that includes RV Loeb. They suggest that the James Webb Telescope can be used to find evidence of LED lights on the planet this thought was considered because the planet orbits very close to its small red dwarf star so there is a high chance of it being tidally locked due to its nightside low. Proposes that a civilization living on this planet could have invented powerful mirrors or used very bright LED lights.